Impax makes two epinephrine auto-injectors. Epinephrine injection USP auto-injector 0.15 milligrams with the orange label is for people who weigh 33 to 66 pounds. Epinephrine injection USP auto-injector 0.3 milligrams with the yellow label is for people who weigh more than 66 pounds. Impax epinephrine auto-injectors come in two packs, so it's important to keep the injectors together. Having two auto-injectors on hand is necessary in the event there is a problem administering the first auto-injector or if a second dose is needed. Remove the epinephrine injection USP auto-injector from the protective case. Twist and pull apart the protective case to reveal the auto-injector. Remove both blue end caps. You will see a red tip. This is where the needle comes out. Never put your thumb, fingers, or hand over the red tip. Grab the auto-injector with your fist with the red tip pointing down. Put the red tip against the middle of the outer thigh at a 90 degree angle. Press down hard and hold firmly against the thigh for 10 seconds. Remove from thigh. The needle does not retract, so it will be exposed when you remove it from the thigh. Massage the area for 10 seconds. Get emergency help. Epinephrine injection USP auto injector has a trainer available that you can use to practice with. It contains no medicine and no needle. It's a good idea to practice regularly with the trainer so you are prepared in the event of an emergency. Store the auto injector in the provided carrying case to protect the medicine from damaging light and keep at room temperature. Do not refrigerate or store it anywhere that may get too hot, like a storage shed. Make sure it's in a location that is easy and quick to access in case of emergencies. Please refer to your state law for other storage requirements. After use, lay the black half of the carrying case on a flat surface and carefully slide the auto injector into the carrying case needle first. Then push the colored half of the carrying case firmly over the non-needle end. Give the auto injector to emergency responders for proper disposal. If you keep stock epinephrine on site, remember to replace any used auto injectors immediately so you're prepared for the next emergency. Hopefully you'll never have to use your auto injector, in which case the medicine will eventually expire. Set a schedule to check the expiration date of your auto injector and replace if necessary. You should also look at the medicine in the auto injector regularly through the viewfinder and replace it if the medicine is cloudy, discolored, or has particles in it. Please refer to your state law for other restocking requirements. AviQ has two epinephrine auto injectors. AviQ.3 milligrams has a red label and is for people who weigh 66 pounds or more. AviQ.15 milligrams has a blue label and is for people who weigh 33 to 66 pounds. AviQ auto injectors come in two packs, so it's important to keep the injectors together. Having two auto injectors on hand is necessary in the event there is a problem administering the first auto injector or if a second dose is needed. To use AviQ, pull it from the outer case. Pull off the red safety guard. The safety guard is made to fit tightly. Pull firmly to remove it. Do not touch the black base, which is where the needle comes out. Put the black end of AviQ against the middle of the outer thigh, through clothing if needed, and press firmly. Hold in place for five seconds. If you are administering AviQ to a young child, hold their leg firmly in place while administering the injection. When administering, you will hear a distinct click and hiss sound. This is normal. You will also hear a five second countdown and a voice instruction that will tell you injection is complete. Five, four, three, two, one. After this, AviQ will beep and the lights will blink red. Injection complete. Get emergency help right away. A trainer that does not contain a needle or medicine is included with every AviQ 2 pack. It's a good idea to practice regularly with the trainer so you are prepared in the event of an emergency.
Keep AviQ in the outer case to protect it from light. Store AviQ at a temperature between 68 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Do not refrigerate it or store it anywhere that it could become too hot or too cold, like a vehicle's glove box. Please refer to your state law for other storage requirements. After use, give AviQ to emergency responders for proper disposal. Do not throw it away in the trash. If you keep stock epinephrine on site, remember to replace any used auto injectors immediately so you're prepared for the next emergency. Hopefully, you'll never have to use your auto injector, in which case the medicine will eventually expire. Set a schedule to check the expiration date of your auto injector and replace if necessary. You should also look at the medicine in the auto injector regularly through the viewing window. The solution should be clear. Replace it if the solution is discolored, pinkish or darker than slightly yellow, cloudy or contains solid particles. Please refer to your state law for other restocking requirements. EpiPen has four injectors, EpiPen, EpiPen Junior, and authorized generics of each. EpiPen and its generic, with the yellow label, are for anyone who weighs 66 pounds or more. EpiPen Junior and its generic, with the green label, are for children between 33 and 66 pounds. EpiPens come in two packs, so it's important to keep the injectors together. Having two auto injectors on hand is necessary in the event there is a problem administering the first auto injector or if a second dose is needed. To use the EpiPen, EpiPen Junior, or their authorized generics, take it out of the tube. Open the yellow or green cap. Slide it out. Hold it like this. Blue to the sky, orange to the thigh. Take off the blue safety release by pulling straight up without bending or twisting it. Put all five fingers around the body of the pen. Never put your hand near the orange tip because that's where the needle comes out. Swing and firmly push the orange tip against the person's mid outer thigh until it clicks. The needle is designed to go through clothing, including jeans. Hold firmly in place for three seconds. Count slowly, one, two, three. Remove auto injector from the thigh and massage the injection area for 10 seconds. Get emergency help. Every EpiPen and authorized generic two-pack carton includes a needle-free EpiPen trainer you can use to practice with until you're comfortable using the device. It's a good idea to practice regularly so you are prepared in the event of an emergency. Store EpiPen, EpiPen Junior, and authorized generic auto injectors in the provided carrier tube at a target temperature of 77 degrees Fahrenheit, 25 degrees Celsius. Temperatures between 59 degrees Fahrenheit and 86 degrees Fahrenheit, 15 degrees Celsius, and 30 degrees Celsius are permitted. So, for example, don't store auto injectors in a refrigerator or somewhere that can get too hot. Make sure it's in a location that's easy and quick to access in case of emergencies. Please refer to your state law for other storage requirements. After use, give EpiPen and EpiPen Junior auto injectors to emergency responders for proper disposal. Do not throw it away in the trash. If you keep stock epinephrine on site, remember to replace any used auto injectors immediately so you're prepared for the next emergency. Hopefully you'll never have to use your auto injector, in which case the medicine will eventually expire. Set a schedule to check the expiration date of your auto injectors and refill the prescription before the devices expire. Please refer to your state law for other restocking requirements.